all in with the sailboats. Tom Parsons Ooh. has jacks on the button. And he reshoves for 160k. You've helped me once. An absolute <laughs> massive <laughs> moment for Tom. And of course, Kitty all in with the fours herself. Yeah, she's the at-risk player here, and she is behind. The flop is queen nine six. And of course, spades aren't working for Kitty because Tom has the jack of spades. She has two outs. There's a four on the turn. Oh, that is absolutely heartbreaking for Tom. I don't believe it. Kitty, one card to come, two outs. Can Tom find a jack? Oh, yes, he can! Oh yes, he can! Oh, I don't believe it. What a river card for Tom Parsons. Unbelievable. I don't believe that. Set over set sickness. He goes behind on the turn, gets there on the river, and Kitty Quo is KO'd. Oh. Look at this confrontation. Ramon with King Queen, Ladev with Jax. Ladev opened to 30,000, and Ramon has three bet from the small blind to 115,000. Jax, certainly a very good hand, but just a little too deep to get it all in in the middle pre. So Ramon ahead for now with top pair. The gut shot for Ladev, who is betting. 55,000. Ramon checks a second time. And Ladev fires another barrel. And that is double the flop bet, 110,000. Go into the river, which is the Jack of oh, Spades. Boy. Ramon gets rivered. Not by the straight, but by a set. 590,000 in the middle. Ramon's got less than pot behind. Checks it back. So Ramon loses a sizable pot. Oh, Tratu. The tricksy player. Makes the call, and we will see a flop. Ace, queen, jack, it is. Top pair versus a set of jacks for Tonka. And how many of his 107,000 remaining chips do we see Mario Tratu lose here? 107,000. Okay, that's a bold prediction from Mr. Stapleton. 97 left. I would expect probably something in. The double fisted bet from Tonka, 28,000. Nice bet. Big one. Wow, is he going to sniff this out? Telling me you got the ace as well. I half believe you. Uh, I think the kicker's bigger than mine. Yeah. Oh, man, what a fold. Which one? <laughs> what a fold. Either. All right. Good shows the jacks. Meet the audience and the table to the jacks. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wrong, wrong read, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what a needle. No one all in yet. Wow. But we have had the under the gun raise from Pizari, flattered yeah. by Marquesh yeah. in the small blind with eights. Uh, and it looks like these two players are going heads up to the flop. Nine, six, five. Well, they're going to check it down from here. No. The, <laughs> the, 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 eights, the eights caught too much of a piece of that. <laughs> to ever fold here for one bet. He has two eights, which is effectively second pair and could be good on its own. He also has a gut shot straight draw. How many blinds or how many do you know? Croaks, one of the mods on Twitch, says, I met Shilko in Prague. He was insanely nice and I'm now rooting for him. He does seem nice. I think this would have been a good spot for a lead with the two eights. It would have frozen your opponent even if they had over pair. Wow, he does get there on the river, makes a set of eights. And even though there's a four liner to a straight and a backdoor flush, I think we've got to go for some value here. Your opponent, Pizari, opening under the gun, unlikely to have a seven. It's a quick call. Pedro Marques wins this pot. 
we have had an early position raise from Apova Goel with Ace Queen. Taylor in action again, flatting in the hijack with the sailboats. Elias Fish with Ace Eight in the cutoff. Fault. Ramon's out. Round to Andrew Hume in the big blind. Nine three of clubs. So Hume gets to see a cheap flop. Comes along for the ride. The flop is Jack. Five four. A set for Taylor. Come sail away. Action. It's been checked by Hume. Poker's so frustrating though. Like even when you have a big hand, you need someone else to have a big <laughs> hand. And then their big hand probably has some equity to beat your big hand. It's like almost impossible to make any chips. Oh. Check around to the turn and Goel improves in inverted commas to top pair and Hume picks up a gut shot checks a second time yeah Taylor got pretty sneaky on that flop even with the flush draw and straight draw possible with the check back with bottom set and go out <laughs> Well, very clearly understanding that even though they have top pair now, that the flush draw does come in. So probably best to play it as a check call. Taylor bets 40,000 into a pot of 115,000. Is Goel folding top pair here? I think he just wanted to see if his red queen was the queen of hearts. Ah, good spot. That is not a check call, Maria. It's That's a check very raise. very interesting. Um, I don't, uh, it, this is not something that I would have predicted or that maybe I would have done myself, but um, I understand that you will maybe get some value here out of some king heart type hands that might just go ahead and bet the turn as a semi bluff. But I also feel like your hand plays really nicely as a bluff catcher. So this pot is getting a little bit bigger than I thought it would. Yeah, we've now got 375K in the middle. Six of clubs completes the board. Action on Goel. Yeah, there might also just be this perception that because Kanon has such a big stack that maybe they're going to be calling check raises a little bit lighter and perhaps there is still value to be had from this ace queen but quick course. call 165,000 set of four is good thanks for watching this video make sure to subscribe for more awesome poker content and check out this video the youtube algorithm seems confident you'll like it